Because the word of our creator is not free according to the Hallelujah Scriptures, in my email box, I just received another DMCA removal request. For those who do not know what a DMCA removal request is, it is the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. And it all has to do with digital U.S. law and anything that has been turned digital is basically protected under a, uh, a U.S. Copyright Act, right? So it was the weirdest thing. So I'm looking at this email address and it is a very odd email address. A-D-N-A-N-B-O-D-L-A-H-C-6 at gmail.com. And it says DMCA remover. Very, very weird. You don't normally see things like this. And why would something like this come to my email? Because I am not the hosting provider. They screwed up again. So this is what it says. This is, this is from you know who. The Hallelujah Scriptures. Hello, legal team. This is a DMCA notice. Our company and product have registered with the name Hallelujah Scriptures, Inc. You have copied and removed our official cover from our books and published it to own website. We request an immediate removal of content from your website. Thank you for your kind cooperation and support. Following are the details you may require. Hallelujah Scriptures, Hallelujah Scriptures, HallelujahScriptures.com. Copyrighted legal work. She goes, uh, Hallelujah Scriptures, then it's right there. Then, infringing material location, Yahoo and the Torah, downloads. Now, they say everything in my downloads is copyrighted. Now, I have scriptures that are not theirs. I have scriptures that are lots of other people's, and I really don't have any scriptures that are theirs. There are no pictures there are no content. They have no copyright on any of this. There is no copyright on the actual text of the Hallelujah Scriptures. They can't because they stole that work from the Institute for Scripture Research. So that's why they, you will never see a digital version of the Hallelujah Scriptures. So let's see what else they want removed. And this is by far, this is the very first request I have ever gotten from them. And it's not actually from them. So they want the restored name Scriptures gone. They want the Torah Commands book. They want Jubilees, the book of Yasher, Enoch, Yehudith, Tobit, Sirach, Baruch, letter of Yermiyahu, prayer of Azariah, Susanna. All of these, right? They say they're all theirs. They say that it is all theirs. They've always included other ones as well. And then this is what they tell me. This letter is official notification under Section 51C of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. And I seek the removal of the aforementioned infringing material from your servers. I request that you immediately notify the infringer of this notice and inform them of their duty to remove the infringing material immediately and notify them to cease any further posting of infringing material to your server in the future. Please also be advised that law requires you as a service provider to remove or disable access to the infringing materials upon receiving this notice. Under U.S. law, a service provider such as yourself enjoys immunity from infringement. If service providers do not investigate and remove or disable the infringing material, this immunity is lost. Therefore, in order you, for you to remain immune from a copyright infringement action, you need to investigate and ultimately remove and otherwise disable the infringing material from your servers with all due speed. Should the direct infringer, your client, not comply immediately... I am providing the notice in good faith with the reasonable belief that rights my company owns are being infringed. Let's continue to the next one. Infringed. Under penalty of perjury, I certify that the information contained in the notification is both true and accurate. And I have the authority to act on behalf of the owner of the copyrights involved. Should you wish to discuss this with me, please contact me directly. Signature, Robert Liu. And there's no... There's no contact number for anything for Robert Liu. Dated January 5th, 2025. So here we go. What else did they bring to the table? Then they put the Hallelujah Scriptures trademark. Now, everyone should understand they do own a trademark for the book cover, but they do not own a copyright for the book. There is no copyright on the word of our creator. The ISR does own the copyright. And if the Hallelujah Scriptures attempted to ever make a digital version, the ISR would have them completely kicked offline. They couldn't put it to the Play Store. They couldn't put it to the Apple Store. They couldn't put it to Microsoft Store. They couldn't put it to anything. So this is what they send to service providers, 
right? I have I don't know why I ended up with this. They should be attempting to contact my service provider, except here's the rub. I'm not in the US. I'm, I'm personally not in the US and my server lives in a land that is non-compliant with the US. It doesn't care about DMCA laws. I've been there for five years. There's just, they don't care about all of these crazy DMCAs and all of this boohoo stuff and all of this stuff they're crying about, right? So let's continue on. Registration number, 4,000, 4,509,646. A lot of sixes in their number. Registered April 8th, 2014. What is this for? This is Hallelujah Scriptures, New Jersey Corporation, DBA, Hallelujah Scriptures, P.O. Box 7625, North Brunswick, New Jersey, 08902, 914-A, Village Drive East, North Brunswick, New Jersey, 08902. What do they get the trademark for? For religious books in Class 16, right? Whatever that is. First use was in 2007 when they were defending themselves against the ISR who they were attacking. It was just a crazy mess. The mark consists of standard characters without claim to any particular font, size, color, size or color, right? So it consists, what this consists of is the characters, hallelujah scriptures, right? And so no claim is made to the exclusive right to use scriptures apart from the claim that is shown. And then they have a, ser a serial number and then whoever it was, the filing attorney. What's the next thing? And for just so we have this for what they sent to me, right? Your documentation will be canceled and this is all their filing stuff, right? I'll leave it as big as you can. You guys want to pause that and take a look at it. So the question I had to begin with always was, is Robert Lou in on this grift or do they just have him out blanket attacking people? Now, these guys are liars because they do not own a copyright. What they are saying right here, then this is the lie, right? Copyrighted work location. Hallelujah Scriptures order page. They, the only thing that they own a copyright on, which is not on this server, is a completed book where they have two or three different stories in the book. They don't own a copyright on the word of our creator. This is what they are saying. They are trying to take the word of our creator offline. They've been doing everything possible to get the word of our creator offline. I've had hallelujahscriptures.net taken off for 60 days. That's fine. But you can check all of this out at the messianichallofshame.org, which is a site that exposes Deborah Wessel and Ken Wessel and the, all the garbage and dirt. And for those who've never heard what we're talking about, we're talking about a company that says they're giving away Bibles and that you can get free Bibles and you don't get free Bibles. There's nobody. In fact, we just had a friend of ours try to go get a free Bible. They tried to force him to put a power bill into his name, right? They want him to show a power bill that he's so broke that he can't get a Bible. And literally this guy couldn't get a Bible. He's another person has been refused the scriptures by this profiteering company known as the Hallelujah Scriptures. Not only this, is they stole a house in 2018 and 2019 that belongs to the people who donated. They have a house at 3396 Panther Lane, and this house is stolen. They have it for sale right now for $400,000. We have receipts of gold that they purchased in 2020. We have receipts of silver they purchased in 2020 as well There's uh, for $10,000. So we have $70,000 in precious metals. We have a house. We have a, another $100,000 that was supposed to go to the Hallelujah Scriptures that was supposed to put their scriptures online. But they went and they reneged on what they did. They stole the guy's $100,000. And yet, again, they just keep cashing out and cashing out and cashing out. These guys need to be stopped. Hope you have a good day.